what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm Odi J and we're locked in i'm in paris right now so if you're watching this go team usa because we got a root for the home team but we got a lot of information that's releasing about raising canaan specifically about season four and hinting at season five but today we're going to be talking about the new cast members and i'm going to be jumping between two different articles over on deadline and we're going to try to piece together who they are and how they would fit into season four now before we do if you like power content breakdowns theories and predictions after show recaps you know don't nobody break a show down like i do and we got the best live show mo and the mo west then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button and i'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers so i appreciate each and every one of you but let's go ahead and jump into it here are the new cast members that are going to be in raising canaan season four in this deadline article it says exclusive stars power book three raising canaan has added simbagle and Mlamblo from lost in space and Paul being Victor the Wire into season four cast in reoccurring roles. Now, Mbablo will play Imani, a smart, confident, and business savvy executive at a boutique record label. Ben Victor will play Phil Russo, a Jersey new crime boss accustomed to garnering respect, deference, and other men's fear. He suffers no fools and handles business negotiations on a stoic confidence. Now, as for Imani's character, they're saying she's smart and confident and she's going to be an executive at a boutique record label. So I'm trying to figure out who she would be matched up with. In Raising Canaan, she could probably be somebody that Lulu is going to come in contact with. We know that he deals specifically with the music and especially since Raquel did what she did to Bulletproof or Bullet Lane, whatever that record company is because it's in the dirt because the feds there. I could see her and Lulu linking up. And this would be good for Lulu because he does need a new love interest. Plus, he needs something to do, some type of hobby, because he's just been sitting around moping since Monet has snatched everything from him. Now, they say that Phil Russo, he's going to be a new crime boss in Jersey. Now, we know how Jersey is. They say in New York, they take the trash out to Jersey. So he's probably going to be replacing old boy and it's making it seem like they're going to build him up to actually be somebody of a stature that we can depend on as far as making sure that things are handled correctly because recently jersey it wasn't ran properly they got ran up out of there once rock and them got into it with them it just didn't it, it just didn't work man sal bosalini it, it just didn't cut it so hopefully Phil, when he steps in, Stefano will actually embrace him and know, hey, this is the business we got going on. Don't mess it up this time. Now, of course, it's going to come to some kind of shootout or some situation with him because we can't just live with Jersey across the bridge and not have any issues. It was also announced this week that Power will be adding more characters to season four. And this is a deadline article also. Power Book 3 Rays and Kanan add Chris Red and Partisan Fontaine to Season 4. Exclusive Stars Power will cast Chris Red and the Grammy Award winning rapper Partisan Fontaine for Season 4. Season 4 is in production in New York. The series scored an early renewal for a fifth season following the Season 3 finale in February. Now that's what the next article is going to be about that I'm going to read that you can check out in tomorrow's video. Now it's giving us a description of what actually happened and the power series of book three, but let's go ahead and jump down to what the character descriptions will be. Red will play Early Tyler, who is described as a trustworthy ally and secret keeper. Early Tyler is a neighborhood institution and a good friend to have in your corner, if you can afford the high financial price of his friendship. Fontaine will play B. Rilla, a raw, volatile, and incredibly talented young rapper serving a prison sentence for an armed robbery. Lulu, Malcolm May, sees B. Rilla's potential and wants to sign him. So if we go back to early Tyler, he looks like someone uh, Rock is probably going to get close to or maybe Marvin. Now, he's in the street and he keeps the secret, so he probably knows what's going on. There might be some kind of connection with him to get, let's say, Lulu in touch with Imani, with her record label, because it looks like Lulu sees B. Rilla's talent and wants to sign him. So it looks like Lou is moving away from famous and probably wants somebody with that actual street cred. So I'm trying to see how all of them would tie in. Early Tyler might just be the guy that you go to that knows everything that's going on, but it's not really 
involved with it. Like I can tell you all the moving pieces and who's moving them, but I keep my hands clean. The way he makes his money, of course, is you get some money, you give it to him, he'll give you that. So I definitely want to see how this plays out between both of these new characters. Well, all four of the characters that we have because we have a, a an intelligent businesswoman who has a label. We got the Jersey crime boss. We got early Tyler, the voice of the street. And then we have B Rilla, who's supposed to be one of the realest people in the show. Now, this could be something good for Kanan also. If Kanan is around and he's talking to B Rilla, this could be one way Kanan gets into pulling some kick doors, learning the way of the streets as far as the, the grimy side. Cause right now he's on the dope dealing flashy side with his mom. So hopefully this plays out pretty good. It sounds like they got some good characters that they're adding and raising Kanan. They've done a hell of a job anyway. So as far as these four new characters go, like I said, raising Kanan has done an amazing job when it comes to their casting and they're not just bringing in people like, no shots at BMF or anything. They're not just bringing in names that we heard of or, you know, saying artists, musicians or anything and just throwing them in there. It sounds like everyone's going to have a specific role and it's going to line up. Now, I haven't seen too much acting from Partisan Fontaine, but I know they say he was in rap ish and I know Pretty Girl Loves Trap content. Subscribe to her channel, Muchella, Tamika's Den. They all watched it and they enjoyed the show. So I'm going to go ahead and lean on my ladies and if they say that show was good hopefully he'll fit right in on this but let me know what you think about this new cast and are you ready for season four of raising canaan because i got that right after ghost as the second best spinoff in the power series my name is modi j if you like this kind of content hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'm out jimmy on a beat boy